Christine, a generation of Americans is drowning in student loan debt, and people are looking for answers. Representative Mark Takai joins us. You have a, a particular proposal that is of some interest. It's not the same as what some other people have proposed. Right. So we've been talking about it for a few weeks now, but our proposal is called CLEAR. It's Clarity in Lending in Education and Repayment Act, CLEAR. Um, it does uh, a few things. Uh, I'll mention three. The first thing it does is it um, allows for the, 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 the student to repay their debt based on the ability to pay. Uh, so it's 10% of discretionary income. The second thing it does is that it, it allows for forgiveness after 20 years. And the third thing it does, which I think is critical, is it uh, aligns student loans similar to those of credit cards and home loans so that you have a detailed report of what's expected, what the rates are, how long it's going to take, and things like that. And, and it's something that you'll be able to read because it's the same format Absolutely. as what you read in your other day. Right, instead of all this uh, text that's very difficult to see. You know, I still meet people who uh, ha are borrowing money for college from Sally May who think Sally May is part of the government. <laughs> and, it, and it's been a private lender for a long time now. Right. Um, do you have any co-sponsors? I do. In fact, uh, I think we have about... Uh, uh, 20 people now, and it's it's going to expand. I mean, I think uh, you know this issue is uh, a bipartisan issue. Uh, people on both sides of the aisle believe that we've got to get control over uh, student loan debts. This this is one facet. I mean, the other facet is to control the cost of higher education. Uh, we're working on that as well. Um, also, uh, to to provide for adjustable rates. That's another proposal. But this one in particular really lays out the plan for the future. Allows for um, students that are thinking or uh, people that are thinking about going into college uh, with a with a pad so that they know that they'll be able to pay uh, be, be able to afford college and more importantly be able to contribute to society after they graduate sometimes it's hard to get something passed in an election year but it occurs to me that in the case of this bill um, there may be a lot of people who aren't necessarily sponsors who wouldn't mind being able to run on it Sure. I mean, it's, uh, you know, I've been talking about this ever since I was in the legislature. In fact, right. I authored the Hawaii College Savings Program, which is a great program, but it's not for everybody. Um, so I've been talking about uh, higher education and the ability to get into college and, and the options uh, for more than 20 years. Okay. Um, it's been a major priority for me. All right, and it's something we'll continue to watch. I want to ask you two other questions real quick. Uh, first of all, obviously, uh, your health issues were in the news. Are you doing okay now? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. I just wanted to mention, we have a, a college fair this Thursday uh -huh. from 6.30 to 8.30. It's at Kapolei Middle School. In fact, we're doing a total of four across the island, and uh, the first one being at Kapolei Middle School this Thursday. So we encourage people to to attend that, but my health is uh, is good. Okay, and, and uh, just five seconds, uh, I, I just can't remember, had you endorsed uh, either of the two remaining Democratic candidates? Yeah, I, I endorsed Hillary Clinton, um, but I'm focusing on my campaign. Yeah. You know, I think it's very exciting to see everything going on today and, and later on this, uh, this month in the precinct caucuses. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's great. It's great for our nation. It's great for our state. Yeah. If only we had more interesting presidential candidates. <laughs> I'm kidding. If only. If only. It's 720 and we'll have more sunrise for you in a moment.